On Wednesday, the New York Times released a story about the Washington Redskins cheerleaders, and it outlined some inappropriate exploits that they were exposed to in 2013. The story, written by Juliette McCurr, focused on the team's cheerleading squad trip to Costa Rica and outlined some very concerning events that the cheerleaders were required to participate in. In McCurr's story, it is reported that the cheerleaders were required to take topless photos during a calendar shoot in Costa Rica. At this photo shoot, the Redskins invited spectators who were described as a contingent of sponsors and FedEx field suite holders. And, they all happened to be men. As if that wasn't bad enough by itself, nine of the squad's cheerleaders were also required to escort some of the gentlemen to a nightclub at the end of the day. And the attendance of these women was mandatory, per the story. One cheerleader spoke about that night, via the McCurr story, and offered her take about the negative culture being reinforced in cheerleading programs across the NFL, more from Rigo's rag, it's just not right to send cheerleaders out with strange men when some of the girls clearly don't want to go, one cheerleader who was there said. But unfortunately, I feel like it won't change until something terrible happens, like a girl is assaulted in some way, or raped. I think teams will start paying attention to this only when it's too late. There are two things that are abundantly clear from this story. The culture surrounding cheerleading programs in the NFL needs to change, and the Redskins appear to have been one of the teams that were mistreating their cheerleaders. As of right now, it's unclear whether or not the NFL is going to investigate this incident. Heard the story, the NFL said that the league office has no role in how the clubs which have cheerleaders utilize them. So, that may make investigating these matters difficult, as the NFL will not want to get involved in this. At the same time, it should be a goal of the league to ensure that they are creating a safe working environment for all. And this could be considered hostile based on the testimony of the cheerleaders. It is worth noting that the Redskins released an official statement that didn't address any of the issues at hand. And their longtime director and choreographer, Stephanie Jo Jokian, denied that anything inappropriate had happened on the Costa Rica trip. But is often the case, where there is smoke, there is a fire. This matter should certainly be investigated. A full audit of the Redskins cheer program and those related to it should be conducted to ensure that it is being properly run and that all cheerleaders can be comfortable in their roles. As time goes on, we will see if there is investigation. But again, it's clear that something from the top down will have to change, especially if these exploits were not an isolated incident.